We take a look at some of the most mysterious places in the universe. We begin with number 7 and it's the SIMP which is roughly 20 light years away. Rogue planets are exactly what they sound like and they venture through the galaxy on their own. This particular object is right at the boundary between a planet and a brown dwarf. It has about the same radius of Jupiter but 12 times the mass, so it's a pretty big object. It has a very powerful magnetic field, almost 4 million times stronger than Earth's. The planet also produces its own auroras, which is very bizarre because there are no solar winds from a nearby star. One possibility is that the rogue planet may actually have its own moon. And this could be causing the light shows, but we are not absolutely sure yet. Ultimately, this object is a very mysterious place, which is traveling through the galaxy on its own, and it could shed light on how magnetic fields are even formed. We get to number 6, and it's the Red Rectangle Nebula, which is roughly 2300 light years away. Yet another object challenges our very limited understanding of the universe. The X-shaped rectangle seems to defy gravity, and it forms a near-perfect geometric shape. It is a very unusual example of a protoplanetary nebula, which could also be a binary star system. No other nebula even comes close to this type of shape, and the red star color is made out of hydrogen molecules, which is also one of the vital building blocks of life. Could there be aliens there? Well, I'm not really sure, but studying the formation of this weird event can lead to a better understanding of the universe. At number 5, the Hoag's Object. Reminiscent of a donut, this weird galaxy is roughly 600 million light years away. At first, the object was thought to be a planetary nebula or even some sort of Einstein ring. But the Hubble telescope eventually revealed that the ring is composed of stars, dust, and even clusters, making it to be a weird galaxy. 70,000 light years separates its nucleus from the ring, and nothing really out there matches the symmetry of the Hoag's object, so it's a very strange phenomenon, and we do not understand how this is actually formed. Ultimately, it's a very interesting place to study because it actually might reveal some of the secrets of the universe and may actually lead to advancements in theories. At number 4, Europa. There are a few places in our solar system which could host life. One of these places is Europa, which is also one of Jupiter's moons. I kind of like to refer Europa to Pandora's box because we have no idea what is actually beneath its icy surface. Its ice shell is roughly 15 miles thick, but its underlying ocean could be over 100 miles deep. This means that there is a possibility that Europa could have over twice as much water as Earth's. Tidal heating can also cause hydrothermal activity, which would actually supply nutrients for living organisms. So could there be an advanced alien race down there, or maybe there's some sort of ancient underwater city? We don't really know until we actually go there. And NASA's beginning to plan for the Clipper mission. This craft will be launched within five years, and it'll begin to reveal some of the secrets of this mysterious moon. But we have to keep in mind that the Clipper is not actually going to drill into the ice and explore the ocean. So Pandora's box is not going to be opened anytime soon, and that might be a good thing. At number 3, the J1748 Neutron Star. The fastest spinning celestial object in the galaxy clocks in at 716 revolutions per second, meaning its equator sips along at one quarter the speed of light. Its density is 50 trillion times greater than lead, and its magnetic field is a trillion times greater than our own sun. But thankfully, this star is over 18,000 light years away, so it cannot really affect us. A neutron star forms when a star collapses into a tiny sphere, and the inverse square law of gravity goes into the extreme mode. Kind of like the sun reducing down to the size of a small city on Earth. Electrons get squeezed into protons and atomic particles start to lose their identities. Everything becomes this weird goo and we have no idea really what this substance is. Some believe that it could be a new state of quark matter, which obliterates anything around it, but maybe in a few million years we can actually create quark matter and do some crazy stuff with it. Anyways, I'm just going to say magical materials make up neutron stars, and I wouldn't really want to get anywhere near J1748 and be pretty much sandwiched to nothingness. Another recently discovered neutron star is also a pretty big mystery. It's within the mass gap between a neutron star and a black hole, so many astronomers are just calling it a black neutron star. Some even speculate that it could have been the lightest black hole ever discovered. It's really weird because neutron stars are composed of the densest matter in the universe, and a black hole is just warped space-time with no physical surface. So it's a phase between the two, and we have no idea what it really is. At number 2, the Oumuamua. 
I hope my subpar pronunciation was adequate enough for this Hawaiian named asteroid. This recently discovered cigar shaped object whipped by the sun at 196,000 miles per hour in 2017. It is extremely elongated at roughly 1200 feet long and 120 feet wide. The object has a reddish color without any sign of surrounding dust, so it is likely a very dense matrix that is composed of rock or even metal. Now, things like this don't usually form in our own solar system, so one theory explains that the object came from an outside system, which had weird gravitational effects. But that's pretty much the best answer that we can come up with scientifically. And then you get some more wild theories claiming that this object is some type of interstellar spaceship or even a probe. Either way, this object is not from our neighborhood, and hopefully it does not come to Earth and vaporize our oceans. That's number one, Tabby Star. One of the weirdest objects in our galaxy has perplexed astronomers for some time now. The star has been slowly dimming, and there is really no reasonable explanation for it. Now, the star is too old for any remnants of a stellar orbiting disk, and orbiting planets don't have the ability to continuously dim a star for over decades. There is also a theory that there is a huge amount of dust around the star, which is also highly unlikely because the system is relatively old, and it would basically need an endless supply of comets and asteroids. The one remaining natural theory is that a moon broke off orbit from a planet, and it's slowly melting around the star, which would also be pretty weird timing. Maybe it's none of these things, and we could very well be looking at the construction of a Dyson Sphere. Now, this type of megastructure completely encompasses a star, and it captures a large percentage of its energy output. Considering that our own Sun puts out 174 quadrillion watts, a theoretical Dyson Sphere around Tabby Star would give enormous amounts of power for one very advanced alien civilization, which could also very likely obliterate us at will. We are basically just ants with firecrackers, so I wouldn't want to meet these types of aliens anytime soon. Ultimately, we do not have a solid explanation for what's happening around Tabby Star, and this makes it to be one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.